All right, y'all. So I actually got one of my favorite YouTubers right now. And I ain't gonna lie, I be fucking with Buddy's videos. That nigga funny to me, bro. Like, he's one of those auntie that just have all the fucking tea, bro. If, if, if he feels like one of those, those auntie that every time you come over, she, she's in her bathrobe. Child, let me tell you something. You feel me? So this nigga be a little hilarious to me. So with that being said, I jumped up on here, right? And, um, I see he done made, he done made a video talking about Young Thug is on, on probation. Well, not even on probation. Well, I think he is on probation, but he's also free. I'm like, wait a minute. Ain't no fucking way. My boy had sent me a video, not a video, but like, um, like a shade room type shit, right? And, um, they just basically said that he man like like he they're mandatory him to or having him to do twenty five and the rest on probation. But from this title, this nigga talking about he's free. So I'm like, wait a minute. We gotta make a reaction on this one. You feel me? So let's uh buckle in, get what you need and um let's ride. Let me tell you something. Yeah after going through the longest criminal trial that nigga be having his own. Every time he start off the video, he always gonna start off the video. Let me tell you something. That when those little meme or whatever shit pop up, yeah, yeah. To the day. In the history of the state of Georgia, Young Thug is free. Young Thug is free. Somebody clap it up, baby. Young Thug is free. But before you pour out a little liquor, before you shed a tear, I wanna tell you the strict, serious conditions that the judge don't release Young Thug under. For the next 15 years, Young Thug can't go anywhere near the metro Atlanta area. If he do, his ass going to prison for 15 years. The judge done banned and prohibited him from the area. If he even get pulled over in the area, crossing, I don't care if he stay somewhere next door to Metro Atlanta, his ass got an automatic violation. Listen. I'm trying to figure out when, when did he get locked up, right? You know what? Fuck it. Let's just say... Cause I was gonna say right, I was gonna say if you've been locked up for as long as um Young Thug and you've been fighting for your life, right? And the judge finally um grant you a um a bond or whatever the case is, and on top of that, and then tell you okay, this is part of your uh this is part of your um deal this is the part of the deal that we have with you right you can't go on certain uh certain block uh you can't be around certain people whatever the case is and if we do catch you you gonna serve a lot of time so what i'm gonna say is for example let's just say he's been locked up for four years now five whatever right you've been locked up for that long been trying to fight for your damn life and then trying to basically prove that your label deal your label record is not a game what makes you you got well you got to be a stupid motherfucker but what makes you think if you've been trying to fight for your freedom for that long and all this shit that you've been through you gonna go right back to what they said not to do don't go to this side don't hang around them people that the first thing you want to do why would you want to do that to put your life in jeopardy like, granted, some people will, like, probably have done that shit, but I'm just saying. The fact that, you know, everybody's getting hit with a Rico and you're doing Fed time. Why would you take that risk? And then, for the next 15 years, Young Thug gotta do at least four concerts or speaking engagements against gang violence anywhere in the world. Now they did permit him to travel to do music and perform in the U.S. only. 
He is to have no contact with any of his co-deeds or gang members in the exception of Gunner and his blood broke. And Young Thug is to not promote gang activity in no kind of way. Not in his music or on his social media or his ass going back to prison. Now you tell me. We gonna let you. We gonna let you finish. But um. The smart thing would to do would be is to change up everything that you do once you get relief. So I feel like I feel like Young Thug probably would get out and do like maybe a couple of tracks on, you know, his incarceration. And then from there he's gonna have to try to switch it up. Like once he does that the next go around, try to keep it more like, you know, positive. But what y'all think? Is this a good plea bargain to accept knowing that you got ties in these streets like thugger thugger man? Think about what I'm saying. Or uh, is this a setup for a 15 year prison sentence cause that judge messed up when you could have sat down a little longer and got out free? Free as a bird. Think about what I'm saying. Because if you do your research, you will see most of young thug co-defendants that got that 15-year probation or 10-year suspended sentence and all that, they done violated that goddamn term and now they in the prison doing 5 to 10 years right now. The only one that seemed to got out and changed their life was Gunner. Gunner got out of jail, got off them goddamn drugs, Stop. Nah, I got to agree with you on that one. When Gunna got out, bro, it's like this nigga changed his whole entire way of moving, bro. And that's basically what I'm trying to say, bro. Like, granted, some people going to call Gunna a snitch or whatever the case is, bro. But in the end of the day is, the way that nigga got out and the way he was moving, like Kevin Gay would say, that's some pres presidential shit, bro. Because he got out, stay out of the spotlight, drop music. Worked out, like Buddy said, stayed off them drugs. Like, since young, since Gunner been out, y'all haven't heard one thing about that nigga being in any mix. That's because that nigga staying out the way. And that's exactly what Young Thug would have to do. Sipping that goddamn lean. Went to the gym and got lean and then became a bigger rap artist dropping the number one album in this year. I think that's the best album that came out this year, man. He transitioned and it appeals that he on track to probably never see an inside of a jail for the rest of his life. He'll never violate that sentence if he stay on the track that he done got on. But see, with Big Slime, YSL, Young Thug do the same thing. See, one thing I do know, man, when you out here in these streets, jail ain't so bad for you. Because, see, jail is a good way to learn appreciation for the access you got. Jail is a good way to sharpen your mind when your mind going off them goddamn drugs, man. Yeah, jail is a good way to sober up so you can leave that dope alone, put that drink down. Because, see, when you ain't got no discipline in these streets, when you ain't got no order on your life, man, and you go up in that penitentiary, man, you going to learn discipline. Real quick in that penitentiary, man. Think about what I'm saying. The real test is when you get some of this free air out here. When you get all that access to money back in your possession. When you get that. Unless you're a person that's like in and out or always on the street then this is the kind of lesson that you probably would need to experience, right? And I say that because think about it, like he just said, it, once you're out, once you, when you're out in the free world, you do what the hell you want, you, you're, you're, you're doing all these drugs, you're, you're moving like that, and once you get locked up, all that shit gets taken away from you. And now you're going through like a fucking, um, wit flat, uh, um, with with flash with gla with gla basically now you have a withdrawal symptom of the drugs and whatever you were doing. Now you gotta sit there and think with a sober mind. So when it give you the opportunity to go free, 
bath when you appreciate it. You ain't got to use the bathroom with nobody. You ain't got to sleep next to nobody, sit in room with nobody, unless it, is, unless it ain't your uh, significant other. You feel me? So that's where it says it makes people appreciate it. Going to jail. Power back all over again. Will you keep your chin up and your head high, your back to the wind, or will you be back in that prison facing 15 years all over again? Think about what I'm saying, man. Cause see, either you could come out here in these streets and get focused, or you could get back with the shits, going around with the same crew that you messed with that got you in the shits the first place. Think about what I'm saying, man. We see it all the time. This ain't just young thug. I know a lot of y'all happy about young thug. Y'all don't even know the dude, but y'all happy about young thug. But y'all gotta think about little cuz and little brother them that got out and did the same shit because they ain't had no discipline. They ain't got focus. They got back to the shits. Yeah, because that's all they know. I'm happy that young thug get back to his kids. I'm happy, man, to see Young Thug get a second chance at life after facing life in the penitentiary. But do y'all think that that was a smart move for him to accept 15 years probation? Or do y'all think if he would have challenged them a little bit longer, the judge kept messing up too? They would have got tired of just saying, we'll quit you, man. You going on home. You're free. Yeah, if he would just wait a little bit long, or do y'all think? That he just would tie for sitting so long, almost three, almost goddamn three years you've been sitting in that goddamn pit. You ready to get home, man. You ready to get you some goddamn coaching, man. You want. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking to myself, bro. And I'm like, bro, honestly, if he's been in there for a while, of course he's gonna just say fucking and take that plea. Like, nigga, yeah. You know what? Bet. Take me to house arrest, nigga. I'm. Listen. I get to sleep in my own bed, my own house, like, in a heartbeat. Give it to me, your honor, now, a fat Rocky type shit. For some food, nigga just want to wop at that point. What y'all think? Comment below. Let me know how y'all feel about this situation. I'm happy that y'all throw it home, but I... Appreciate the video, bro. Like I said, I roll with this dude. This shit funny. But y'all let me know what y'all think too, bro. You feel me? Hit that like, subscribe, follow your boy on Twitch, and I'm gonna get at y'all. I want.